Sometimes I can't help but think about the guy who went insane after having a really messed up surgery. This was Sherman Sizemore. By all accounts, a really solid dude. He was a coal miner, and then after retiring from being a coal miner, he became a Baptist clergyman. He was beloved by all his friends and family and community members, but especially his grandkids. This guy was a A-plus grandfather. But Sherman had a problem. He had this recurring abdominal pain that was really messing with his quality of life, and so he went to the doctor, and the doctor thought it was probably his gallbladder but they weren't entirely sure so they were like hey Sherman do you want to do this exploratory surgery to figure out if this is your gallbladder now or do you want to wait and just kind of be in pain and we'll see what happens and naturally Sherman was like yeah do the surgery bro so I want to I want to fix this I don't I don't like being in pain all the time and so yeah they get them all prepped for surgery everything's going well and then the thing that happens next is something I think that most of us have nightmares about the anesthesiologist gives him the shot that paralyzes him but does not give him the shot that knocks him out and makes him not feel pain like you know when you have surgery and you count backwards and you pass out yeah he counted backwards but never passed out and he couldn't move he's like literally just solid just sitting there trying to flutter his eyes to get the doctor's attention but they're not paying attention because they're slicing him open and pulling his skin open to keep down so they can look about his organs and it took 16 minutes of this with sherman being able to feel everything before the doctors realize oh shit he's he's awake and so then they decide to administer the shot to knock him out but the damage was already done see there's this thing called ptsd it really messes you up and because sherman was knocked out later he actually didn't remember why he was having all of these issues and i mean panic attacks i mean recurring nightmares his wife said he would just start screaming for no reason like is not a way to live life just like straight up out of nowhere your husband is just having psychological issues and you don't know what's going on and sherman himself is terrified like refused to see his grandkids and this man loved his grandkids he would like stop doing whatever he was doing so he could hang out with those little kids and unfortunately sherman ended up unaliving himself because he couldn't he couldn't live like this and sure, his family sued and won a bunch of money and all of that, but I mean, the damage is gone. Their, you know, the patriarch of their family was unalived. It was pretty terrible, and now I'm afraid to ever, ever, ever have surgery. Because, um, what the hell, man?